Hello everyone, welcome back to Genealogy of the Holy War, where all my mount units are bad at moving, but all the other units are better anyway. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Hello! Rin, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Mm, great. Ready to dive into some spirit force over here. But before we get into that dreaded desert of trees, we have uh, another castle to conquer. Mm -hmm. I took the liberty of walking from one castle all the way to the next to save you guys some, uh, some time. It does mean I recruited Ira off screen, so we can start by talking a little bit about her, then we'll get this castle, then we'll probably do this whole arc in addition, because mm -hmm. you know, it's not that long anyway. So without further ado, let's let's talk Ira. Let's talk about eight move Ira, I should say, which <laughs> ooh, that's gonna be a blessing. I've always enjoyed using Ira against enemies, but if these enemies are not right in her face, then it's really hard for her to show off how fast she is and how Astra works which both of these are good things about her that I really enjoy. But now she's going to be here in her full glory and we can see exactly how good her offense is. She does still have the issue of not being super durable. Like I think most enemies will kill her in two or three hits. But if we get her to promotion, then I think that is kind of alleviated because then our avoid gets so good and she starts getting adept and maybe we'll even keep the brave sword on her when she gets it. So there's a bright future ahead of her. It's just a matter of how soon can we get her there. Um, are you an Ira fan? Oh yeah, I love Ira. On paper, Ira is like almost the perfect unit outside of the fact that she can't like two range people. Um, and in base genealogy, she has not. It's not. It's not awful, honestly. Like Ideen's movement is awful. Mm -hmm. um, but it is like a struggle to keep her with the rest of the team. So she ends up just becoming an arena gal, so you can get money on everybody else. Yeah, for sure. I, I took the liberty also of arenaing a little bit with her. I put her to level four. And I was like, wait, if I level up, if I if I fight one more enemy, I level up. I I want her bases on screen, so I didn't do that. <laughs> but I have to finish off that arc somewhere around the end of the chapter, probably. But she is really good at arenaing. That's probably the most fun and most uh, dopamine-inducing way of using Ira, is seeing her destroy enemies that you know she reaches without any movement whatsoever. But uh, now we're gonna see a whole lot more of that. Uh, let's go. So we could just put her to the test right here. Like I was thinking of having Sigurd rush this part, but we could use Ira instead if you want it. Um, in a force, I think she actually faces like zero hit with this Iron Blade, or mm -hmm. like close to. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I would just put her in a forest, but I think she'll do fine, honestly. Yeah. I mean, you could. I mean, worst case scenario, you just put both of them there. <laughs> yeah, I was worried that they weren't going to reach her, but I forgot for a second that even these brigands like reach the, <laughs> the most innermost forest. So I think she'll be fine. <laughs> um, I think animations are on. Great. I could move Sigurd in. I think she doesn't face enough danger of dying for me to warrant doing it, but maybe if she gets surrounded, it would be nice for someone to attack Sigurd instead, so screw it. I'll move him in too. We'll see what they do. I'll give him the silver, because there's enough enemies here where I think if some of them survive, I can feed those to my most needy units, and uh, I don't feel like cleaning up a bunch of low HP brigands with, these, uh, with this scrub squad. Um, yeah, I'll just have to put him like near-ish. Arden is okay to move in for like one or two combats, I think, and then the rest of them don't really matter that much. Azel needs to be in range, of course, to kill something when it gets there. Dew wants to steal some money from someone. Uh, have my most mobile healer move ahead. In case we need it. Yeah, everyone else here I think is barely going to be relevant for the rest of this chapter. Because, god, my movements is bad here. Or at least in the part coming up. Oh, okay, alright, that's fine too, that's fine too. I hope he's the only one, though. I didn't actually count the tiles here. I, it's so trippy, especially when we like we play this once a week, and then, like whenever I get back to it, I go, wait, these have way too much movement. Hold up. Yeah, I'm still I, okay. I like with our units, I'm like I kind of understand it now. But every yeah. time I see an enemy move like half as much further as they normally would, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. it's so ginormous. All right, here's our first level up. Ugh. Oh, I, well, I, I okay. can't even pretend to be happy about that one. <laughs> I really want to give a more happy reaction about that, but damn, hmm. that's bad. Uh, it's okay, Azel After might we're die. gassing her up and everything. It's okay, Azel is making sure that we can reset to give Ira a better level up. That's yeah, Azel, you're so smart. That's why Thank he's you. Here. He's taking one for the team. Yeah, he's, he, well, he's already took, he already took two for the team. He's about to take the third. <laughs> well, please just do Astra at least, just for fun. Oh, come on, Ira. You couldn't leave a worse first impression here. <laughs> this, this was your moment to shine. Right. I'm pretty sure those hunters can kill Azel, right? Like, there's no way they're not in range. Ira, please. Don't make me regret my She's decision. good, guys, I swear. She's good. Yeah. 
part two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at least she's facing zero hit. That's uh, something I'm proud of. It's it's so funny how enemies in FE4 will sometimes attack you if they have zero hit, and sometimes they just sit there and do absolutely nothing. Oh, secret. Yeah, oh. what happened to smart? Smart AI? Yeah. Hmm. I think they don't take into account leadership, but don't quote me on that. Uh, also, if I gave Sigurd an Iron Sword, maybe Azel could have lived, because then that tile would have been... Okay, nah, fuck it. They could reach the forest anyway. Screw it. Mm -hmm. Azel, no! <laughs> alright, alright. That's, that's on Azel. He should have dodged that, bro. Come on. Yeah, it's easy dodge for sure. I think that's the first Azel death. A, uh, a premier one of you. Well, it's time to hit the reset button before Ira dodges one more attack and fails to kill. Yeah, he failed to kill another enemy, Ira. So bad. So bad. Oh my god. Terrible. <laughs> I was just checking these four guys' movements over <laughs> yeah, and over it's again. It's so annoying. I was like, and there's a tile that. No, never mind. I was trying to find a tile that I can put Azel on that's like only in range of one guy, but there's no such thing. There's just no way. Okay, take two. Two. Let's go. Whoa! Yay! Money! Go. One damage! Yep. Money! That is money, though. Money! That's all that matters. Hmm, I don't think I gave Dew's donation out yet. Alright, Ira, one more time. This this changes the RNs, therefore she will... Yeah, there we go! See, thanks, Yeah, Giselle. there we go! Watch her get a better level up, too. I mean, it's impossible for her level up to be worse, right? So... <laughs> HP... Um, Technically, uh, <laughs> technically better. That is better. <laughs> Defense good. Maybe she'll get another one in this enemy phase. Yep. Yeah, see. All right. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. So much better. Yeah. This is this was optimal this, actually. This is how Ira actually is in game, and mm -hmm. not beforehand. Mm -hmm. This is one hundred percent genuine Ira experience. You could do this in vanilla too. Just. Because you know, Ira has more is less move, but also the enemies have less move, so you probably get her here if you wanted to. It just takes forever. But if you do it off screen, it doesn't count. Like you know, my save file says thirty turns. We don't have to believe that. You know, the game. No, it's wrong. actually just it's it's actually just two turns. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, I'm here on turn two. Turn one, I seized the previous castle. We're so good at the game. Possible strats. Okay, and I mean, she couldn't kill everything because we have to give some kills to other people. That, that's why she didn't kill those. Azel. <laughs> Azel uh, kill a full health person. I think. Oh, we oh. just have to give them to him. Yeah. Oh, and hope um, he doesn't die if we put him in a. What's I'm up? glad you reminded me, actually. Um, I did a, an arena with Azel. He also he did level up and he, he got uh, HP or he got some um, magic and speed again. Wow! <laughs> Azel, look at him go. He's good, I swear. Oh no, what? I'm kind of amazed these guys have like only 17 hit on Ira. That's really low for, you know, weapon triangle neutral. Mm -hmm. No damage. Easy peasy. Oh, she is in a forest too, though. Yeah, and leadership and good avoid. And these guys have like 72 base hit because Iron Bow in this game is like <laughs> non existent, FE6 oh, level well. bad. But we don't look at those facts when we're judging our favorite units. Okay, so I'm, I think Azel could probably wander on a hunter somewhere. Maybe this one. I think he has the speed for it because his, his speed is positive, which is more than this hunter can. Oh. oh no, he he definitely does. He he one rounded them last. Uh, oh true. Last episode. Yes, you're right. Okay, so these are all full health, but these are all in range of my um, less fortunate units. So, you have positive speed yet? Oh, he's got zero. <laughs> hmm. No. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'll just give him this brigand. There you go, buddy. We'll have to do Rob like. It's the Madeir arches. experience. Yeah, except it's the nerf. Except experience. with less move. Yeah. This is the only difference. Oh, we'll give this to Lex. He does less damage than uh, Finn. There you go, buddy. Take him out. Get the Paragon. I'm losing faith in like my unpromoted Cavaliers like Lex. They're really gonna be annoying to train after this. Uh, yeah, I, I quite. Around. Did not realize how annoying they are without the extra movement. It really uh, stacks every time they move and then don't get as far as you're used to moving them. Alright, get in here, move aside. It's fin time. Actually, no, we'll give this one to Quan. He's like, he's a shot. Yeah. At, you know, he's a shot at catching up. Get out of here. There you go. Got that one. I also got both villages. I got the upper one with Idean, like I promised, and I got the bottom one with... I think Dew got it, which means Dew is running around with like 30k in his pockets right now. He really needs to get rid of it. 
<laughs> that money's too hot to handle. Whoa! Mm, juicy. Speed. Juicy. Um, I guess no-ish. I'm slowly running out of units to kill things with. It's more than I thought there would be. Maybe I rest the proc on Astra. Azel can kill somebody. Yeah. I guess that hunter is who you're saving him for. Yeah, no, actually, I have enough. I have Sigurd for one and Azel for the other. You're right. i uh, just go here with Sigurd and grab this one real quick. You know who you have to. You have to at least hit somebody with Arden. Oh, yeah, no. Um, I can either have Arden go in front of the boss for funnies, or I can have him finish off <laughs> his brigands. Excellent. Excellent. Let's He's always, go. Oh, my the, God. The classic. He's so good, dude. He's so good. He is the perfect man. He's poggers. Poggies. Ooh, Ira facing this boss? That would be Justice, because this guy, like, I think he blackmailed her earlier. It's kind of rude. Yeah, him. he's like, I'm going to kill your nephew if you don't mm. do what I want. I would really like to make sure I do not, like, eat a counterattack, but it doesn't look like that's in the cards right now, so we're just going to have to YOLO it. Although, I... I don't know if I want her to have the skill ring. It's kind of good, I guess. It's kind of good on her. It gives more Astro procs. Sure, we'll roll with it. My women. Hmm. I love being objectified like that. Ow. He, did he dodge? He dodged me. He hit me. It's not a fair Aww. world. Fire Room That's not... cruel. If I have to do this turn one more time, I swear to God. I'm going to break an Arden. Actually, that is impossible. Uh, the break is right. Yeah in here this one and it will do it will do some robbery hmm I really hope he doesn't hit me again with 40 one RMB like I really didn't expect to I, I okay I really didn't expect him to dodge iron blade is a crappy weapon I think it has like 60 base hit didn't I complain about the iron bow earlier that has 70 hits so that's that's the ballpark we're looking at here uh. I think and you were, um, well, I don't know if I can talk about this. Your video with the, where you're ranking the FE games based off of difficulty. Mm-hmm. You put FE6 on, like, it was on the upper tier, but I think out of all the Fire Emblem games I've played, that's the most difficult one for me. I think most people would think it's Thracia, but that one personally is the most difficult just because the hit rates in that game are so annoying. Yeah, I think Thracia maybe has more means to optimize your hit rates a little bit, whereas FE6 is like supports and then what else can you do? I guess weapon triangle. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's see if Ira bites it or not before we continue this conversation. There, I have a lot of issues in hindsight with that list, but that's the fun of posting it. You get to learn other experiences. Please miss me, please. Thank you. There Astra. we go. Astra, one time. There we go. Oh my! I've oh. never seen the Astra ability used yeah. like this before. That's interesting. You mean on the map animations? Yeah, because I always have animations turned on. Yeah, that's Except fair. for, like, dancers and healers. Mm. So we could feed this to Ira, but that means we seize one turn later. You could... yeah. <laughs> or I could feed it to Azel. Oh no! <laughs> I was about to say, I would just give it to Azel. But the skill ring is so much cooler on Ira, though. Oh, well, then give it to Ira, and then we'll just move everybody forward to right up at the edge of the forest. Yeah, probably best. It's, we it's... need that extra turn, honestly. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's... Okay, I can't move Sigurd out of the way for Ethan to heal, so this is going to have to be Idine's job. I do wonder how the Spirit Force is going to play out with all these high move guys. I think Ira will honestly be really good there, though, because she has Nihil. And she has, like, the million move in the forest. Like, look how far she can go without even being fully in the forest. Like, she's insane. Uh, how much damage? I'm not doing that enough damage, I think. Seven times two. I need some chip... Who's got some chip for me? My dear! Yeah, I you know. We're still the I can't years. reach! Can't reach. Ugh. Can Azel Whoa. chip without killing? No way. Yeah, no, he's too strong. He's suffering from success right now. Now we have to kill with Azel, don't we? Uh, but I, I don't we have to ring? Uh. We're taking another turn. Ira, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Just Astra the guy. Easy. Oh, come on. Astra. Stop hitting me. <laughs> or, I, I'm Ira. That's so bad. Come on. Right, Why do you... It's okay. Oh. <laughs> These units are good, I swear. Please. Okay, Where's Adana? Oh, you know, you already moved her. Whoops. Yeah, she's, she's already healed. I <laughs> She's already healed once. I can mm. heal do, I guess. All right. Well, just keep moving, I guess, guys. Nothing to see here. These people are not... I know. Anything. I do enjoy the thought that he is just at the top of the uh, castle watching everybody just move past him. <laughs> yeah, and his like... whole job is to prevent that from happening. Yeah. 
As long as he's alive, the, the spirit seal stays intact, or whatever the lore reason is that he did this works, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn animations on, we can see if it hits Ira in real time. Please don't. God, this guy is strong. I hate that the skill ring gives him like 10 extra hit. Okay, dodge time. Sword masters need to dodge, right? Right? Th yeah, that's like their whole thing. Come on, Ira. <laughs> Ira, please! Why? Well, no. goodbye. I refuse to deal with this. At least we don't have to restart the whole thing. No. That whole uh, round again. No, we don't have to. Okay, so we know Ira misses, but there's no way for this to... Yeah, there's no way for him to weaken. Okay, Ira, just get out of the way and get healed. We'll, uh, we'll do this heal. No, just for that, I should rob this guy. He robbed me. He robs me, I rob him. I think that's only fair. No, you're right. I agree, I agree. Let's take his money. My money! Money! Come here. Um, <laughs> I mean, we know Ira got hit, but we have ID nearby. Should, should yeah, I was about to say, ID will be fun. <laughs> do XP. Perfect. Beautiful. Absolutely optimal. Took his money. Who's he, rich? He's, he's gonna be. He's more rich than Sigurd, and Sigurd can, literally owns the army. This guy can buy a castle for himself, where he could just spend the rest of his days arena grinding. Yeah, he straight up can just be a lord right now. <laughs> Drukjol, fire, whatever it's called, like the financially independent stuff. Drukjol. <laughs> 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 Gee, I wonder who would own that company or that subreddit. Uh. <laughs> I, I don't think Sigurd would subscribe to that one, personally. Uh, I need to move Lex as well. Alright. I'm gonna have to have my duel out of the way next turn. It's gonna be so annoying. Ah, uh, Gandalf, why are you making this so hard? I thought this would be a quick segment. He was just going to the Spirit Forest one move at a time. See, Dude knows how to dodge. He's good at this. Yeah, it's kind of like his whole thing. <laughs> I thought it was Ira's whole thing, but it turns out that is not the case. I, you know, I would argue that it's more Dew's whole thing than it is high rest. Woo! <laughs> go, Arden, go! Look at him. My man. Okay, if Azel misses one, then Ira can get the finish. If that's Terrible. if he misses one. What's his hit again? Azel is like 83, I think. 82. Wait, can it... Well, no, Madir probably can't move there, right? No, Wait, Quan has a javelin, doesn't he? Yeah, Quan can also just like go up front and Iron Lance. Like oh yeah, because he has Kanto. Yeah, that's I true. think if either Quan or Lex hits like once, we're good. So let's try that. Don't adapt this guy. Thank you. Good job, Quan. Okay, that's 13. I think I did seven per hit, so just hit twice the mile. <laughs> yeah, looks about right. I don't think I can chip him down any further. Uh, unless you had Madeir anywhere, but yeah, no, I I think I'm just. He's, I think he's too far away. I'm gonna stop moving a deer literally, like because because like these these mounts have like two move in the fort, which is the same as in vanilla, by the way. It works out exactly the same. As mm -hmm. The terrain bonuses round down. There, there go. she Finally. goes. Finally. Ugh. I rakes be. Skill what? obtained. No more issues. Okay. Ugh. I would really like more move on these units. Is there like a, a patch of this game I can play where these people can move further? Yeah, just give everybody <laughs> a shit ton of movement. <laughs> yeah, just give everyone 10. Just be done with like that. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, oh, right. We'll do this, I guess. I think I did that last time too, and I had to reset. You need to seize. <laughs> you need to move. I, I really don't think there's a point in moving any of these people anymore. I move. see. I run into that problem in genealogy where I'm just like, dude, I don't care about these units. Yeah. I'm just gonna, and it's always Alex and Alec and Noish. It oh. is always the two of them. <laughs> For me, it's usually like the foot units, but I, I see where it comes from though, because they do kind of uh, run out of steam from like unconditionally being good. Hmm. I kind of want to repair this honestly, but I kind of want to put him at the front line too. I, I, I Look at him go! Oh my god. Yeah, he's so fast. I wonder if they can make it to the choke point. I guess not really. Well, maybe they can make it. Well, if they, if they flood out into the forest, it'll be fine anyway. It's fine. Let's... Do I have to heal anyone? Not really. No! <laughs> the good news is Idina has a bunch of movements, so she can recruit Jamka. The bad news is that Jamka also has a bunch of movements. <laughs> so... <laughs> Monkey Paul. We'll be fine. Curls? Yeah, we, of course. Unconditionally, we'll be fine. Go, Lex! Ugh. 
I know a lot of people in the comments were uh, excited that Jam Jamka is going to be good. Oh, oh, there she is. She's so pretty. <laughs> Just standing She's up got red hair, for a which is different. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I dared have so much movement. <laughs> Look how far she goes. Yeah, she went through half the map. Yeah. How'd she do that? All right. Here comes the dark squad. The Verdane people. Oh god, Jamka's gonna be such a threat. I'm scared. Deirdre, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> Mom, help me. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I never realized how weird that sprite looked. Which one? Does Dark Mage? Yeah, he kind of looks just like a mech suit. A mech suit. I was talking. I actually, like... I actually know exactly what he looks like, and I I don't remember the name, but there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's like, <laughs> I, I would say newer, but it probably came out in like 2010. Uh, he looks exactly like that thing. It's like a cyborg robot thing. I can see what look you mean. Look at him. He does not look like a human. Yeah, I agree. It's like, because I think the idea is he's wearing like a massive cape slash. Wizard He's wearing like right? a hood. Yeah. It's like a But his uh, eyes are glowing. Yeah. I mean that's kind of the case in his portrait too, right? Except his eyes don't glow there. <laughs> but he does have his eyes hidden. And then some of his face is like coming out. Yeah, it's uh it's not it does it looks more like a like a ghost or anything like that, or like a like a spooky wizard. Um Okay, so Jamka does not reach me if I go here. So Arden can go somewhat far fight one guy and then we'll go from there. Uh, these people can move out of jam because range no matter what, so that's fine. I think if we get to a traffic jam here, that's best, because then we can take advantage of Aideen's higher move, whereas they can't take advantage of their higher move, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Kwan has two move here, that's going to be painful for Sigurd as well. Go, Ira. Oh my god, this is so painful. Two movements! Ugh! Ugh! Ugh. Come on, guys, you can do it. Yeah, I'm, I, there's no chance. There's no shot. I'll just leave him here, and then at the end of the chapter, I might, like, arena them with them a little more. Yeah, they're gonna totally clock this whole place up. See my little brigands. Yep, yep, you go there. You do that. Oh, he's, like, <laughs> reshotting. I can't wait for Arden to get Pursuit and a better weapon. It's gonna be so cash. I just... <laughs> Just, okay, can he, with Pursuit Ring, can he uh, double the, like these guys right now, these brigands? Oh, for sure. Arden's attack speed is well, way yeah, above I zero. I guess he gets plus five speed. That is a lot. Okay, I said way above. It's actually like five above, but he has a slim sword right now, so it's like, even without the speed ring, he has four. Yes, these guys have negative eight. Like, he he was already there at base <laughs> level. He'll be fine. Okay, so Jamka moves last out of all these guys, so I can move kind of freely here without worrying too much about Jamka wrecking me. The only thing I can't do is like have Azel kill all these guys because then he's gonna suffer from success and like get doubled and murdered by Jamka. Um, so how do I do this safely? Any ideas? Maybe on how to do it safely? Uh, well, I don't know. Jamka's really gonna <laughs> mess you up. Mm -hmm. I don't Probably think he'll be able to kill Arden though. So I think if you honestly, that might be the best spot, but put Azel behind Arden. Yeah, like kill or... this guy with a with a Zell maybe, and then mm -hmm. these guys all move filter into here. The, the problem is they can move over mountains, but I don't know if they will. Well, I guess we just try it out. We have the save point anyway. Let's go in here. I feel more safe with uh, Ira in this spot because Ira has Nihil, so the only way she dies to Jamka is like if he adapts her. Maybe adapts mm -hmm. as a cost. Well, Arden should be okay. Like he's not gonna kill the brigand that goes in front of him. More speed. The fastest is Zell. I best. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna keep him here. Yeah, he has a five percent chance of a speed growth. Five percent? Azel? No, not Azel. I thought we were talking about Arden. Sorry. Oh yeah, no. Didn't did Arden get speed? I think he got like one, right? I don't he got that... one earlier. I think like maybe two episodes ago. Yeah. Azel has like a thirty-five percent chance or something like that. I think Azel's this like. Uh, that's not even including Holy Blood, though. Yeah, Azel's Holy Blood only boosts magic and HP, I believe. Um... Mm -hmm. Her movement looked like a heart. <laughs> yeah, the hold up. I think there's a funny. I, th I saw it on a like a Reddit post somewhere. Hold up, I, I think it's here. Is it this? Uh, is it? Oh my god! <laughs> there's a heart here somewhere, but I don't remember where it is. Well, it might be different because their movements increased. Too. Oh, true. I unpatched a heart. I'm sorry. Shit. I think <laughs> Mecca, it's like. I think it's why'd this you guy. do that? 
think it's this guy. He like has less movement and then he it shapes the heart. I think also like Renea Burkut, that chapter in SOV, if you click one of them, what they have like a heart shaped uh, range. I think you're right too, yeah. <laughs> Which is easily the That's best so part cute. of SOV. Get him Arden. Just don't get him too hard, because we do need this spot to be occupied because we don't want to get wrecked by Jamka. Okay, so Jamka's probably gonna stay where he is, because all these people will be in front of him. Yeah, so, I agree. So if we can kill... It's interesting that they all move first before him. Yeah, I think that's just generally the case in FE4 with all the leaderships things. Okay, so... We can move one closer, but then they will move on the thickets and start doing weird things. But we need Ideen to be closer to them anyway, because otherwise we're never getting to Jamka. I guess we can kill them all one by one, but that would take forever. Maybe... Arden... Like, Azel takes this guy out, and then Ira goes here? Yeah, that'll probably be up. the best, because she'll actually kill them a lot faster than Arden will, Yeah, and hopefully she'll, like, weaken one of them, and that way we can kill them easily on player face reliably, and then punch through and get a Jamka. Let's try that. Get in here. Kill one. And then we'll throw Ira in there with her knife. So we're going to give the Kanto ring to Arden too, right? The knight ring, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I guess... I mean, no, I'm kidding. It's, it's, it's such a good... I mean, it's pretty good. I don't know if Arden needs it, because he mostly just spends his turn, like, choking points. I think it might be better on, like, Jamka. No, he'd be able to hit and then leave if he had it. Yeah, but why would you want right Arden here. to leave, though? No, just to move down for Ira. Oh. <laughs> you mean here, this spot? Yes, in this oh. particular... <laughs> this <laughs> particular spot where we don't have the ring yet. Yes, for sure. Yes. I mean, I would love to have that ring right away, but you know what? I thought that would be, like, a fun balancing factor in this game, where, like... Oh, um, you know, these six move units have Kanto, whereas the rest of them don't. But turns out even Kanto isn't really saving them a whole lot. Okay, so this probably... Oh, never mind, this guy's dead. Bonk. Bonk. Bye. Please don't break your Iron Blade. <laughs> I think it has, like, what, 20 uses left? Yeah, just please don't kill everything here. Just, just kill a, a little bit. Just don't kill too much. Yes, perfect. Do that again. That is beautiful. Yes, stay there. That's perfect. Oh, this guy's going to die. Never mind. He's not going to stay there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, there's no way Jamka's going to attack Arden over Ira, right? I don't think he realizes that Ira is the worst target. Because her defense is worse. <laughs> Oh, that's the that's the card you were thinking of, the Speed Warrior. Oh, there we, we don't have to worry about it anymore, anyways. <laughs> yes, yes, Still. that's the card. I was like, this guy looks exactly like this card. You can't. I oh, feel no. like he does if he was just red. Oh, okay. This oh. might this might be okay. This might be okay. Please, Jamka, don't be a whatever an asshole. He, nice. He literally said he doesn't want to hurt us. Just don't, oh. TM. All right. Yeah. Okay. This this <laughs> is doable. This is doable. This is doable. All right. I'm gonna do some animations on. I would like to hear his music. I can still rob him with... <laughs> no, I when I was uh, searching for that card I just sent you, I yeah. found out also <laughs> that there's a mech turtle card. <laughs> I can't reach. I can't reach this guy. Oh no. I can't reach. I have to take another enemy phase of him. Oh no. Um, Panic? And then... I guess kill this guy and then... Arden has four moving of four, so Arden can kind of trap Jamka here a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I can move Azel here. No, I don't want to move Azel there. I can't really trap, trap him, but I can put Arden in front of him to make it harder for him to make it annoying for me. Okay, I think attack here and then Arden move forward makes sense, do you think? Mm -hmm, I agree. All right. Can't think of anything mm -hmm. better. What do you think their hit rate against uh, Adain is? Uh, it's gotta be like tens, twenties. Adain's like I feel like she's always very dodgy. She can just move. Weapon. She move up right. Wait, up there. she can reach. What? Oh, I thought yeah. she had like. <laughs> damn, I'm dumb. I was like, maybe she can just move. Okay, okay, okay. But I do want to listen. I want to. I want to hear Arden's funny track where he's like, or it's not Arden's funny track. Uh, Jamka's funny track. How about we hit him with mm -hmm. Arden? <laughs> uh, wait. Then I can't heal Jamka. That would be kind of risky. But it's also hilarious. What if we hit him with Azel? Is that worse? I feel like Azel might... Oh, well, maybe how, not. How bad is Azel here, anyway? He takes 18. He survives 3. 
So if he goes here, he's like totally fine. Because he also dodges a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, God, I really want to hit him in the face. Just to hear the music. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I just have a feeling. Oh, wait, wait. Attack with Dew then. Well, Dew can't reach. Well, he can, but then Nadine can't reach. Oh, then Nadine can't reach, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm. It's, it's one or the other, unfortunately. Let me just see if I can miss him with Arden. Steel Sword. Yeah, 46. It's never going to hit, right? I don't want to hurt you. I just want to hear this music. Bum, 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 bum. He's just too good. <laughs> One enemy Arden's to just too good. Yep. Okay, talk. <laughs> if you don't join us now, I'll hit you again with Arden. <laughs> Alright, oh, we should talk and about And he said this, shit, yeah. maybe you're right. <laughs> shit, I guess I'll join. Alright, uh, let me grab the stat screen here. There it is. There it isn't. There it is. Okay. <laughs> so, Jamka obviously usually loses out against Madeir just based on movements, but mm -hmm. in this, it's the exact reverse. And now we have, as a lot of you noticed in the comments, like you said, Rin, eight move on a unit that has better stats and is joins with the Kirabo, so we don't have to bother selling and buying it to Madeir. And that's going to be huge. I think it's going to be one of the better offensive units. I would love to get the Night Ring on him so he gets hit and run, but. Like we mm -hmm. talked about before, there's a lot of candidates for that ring, so I don't know who it's going to go to. Uh, probably the first one who makes it to the money needed to buy <laughs> it, right. which is like 20k or 40k, I think. But mm -hmm. Jamka is like next to Ira, one of the best people in the arena. So mm -hmm. he has a chance of getting there first, although he has stiff competition from Ira herself, of course. Uh, but between Killabo having right now 14% crits, just skill percent, and Pursuits, and Adept, which is... Uh, 31% chance per attack and a cost, which is like if his HP is higher than 24 and I think he has to be faster or like it's his speed versus enemy speed plus percent. Anyway, it's some percentage chance of activate. He's like a machine gun when he does actually attack things. He does have a really, 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 really awful skill growth of 10%, but his base is so good that it barely matters as long as he has to kill a bow. I've noticed that if you give Jamka anything else, like a silver bow, his hit rate just like drops down into the floor. But the killer bow is 100 base hit, so with that, he's just uh, peachy. I love using Jamka, and I love an excuse to use him more. I always use him in this part <laughs> of the game, and then it's kind of hard to get him to combat in other places, but he's going to be so much fun to use. I can't wait. What about you? A Jamka is just better than Madir in every way in base game outside of his movement. Um, he's just difficult to use because of that, especially in areas where like movement is so important, especially like in Chapter Two. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, Jamka is an absolute peach to use. He's a monster, especially with the Killer Bow. The Killer Bow doesn't necessarily carry him, but it does add a lot to him. He's definitely like outside of Bridget, the best archer in the game. I like on this generation side. Mm -hmm. For sure. But Bridget's not even fair. She yeah. gets a holy weapon and she's a freak and she gets holy blood growth. This is just she's not fair. Yeah. Her stats look insane with the holy blood. She gets like I think she gets like plus ten speed and attack or some like it was like when I first played it it was like some dumb crap. I was like she gets so much from this damn bow. <laughs> it's so funny. I think of my there was one when I did where I just forgot to get it. I was like damn this is really sad. <laughs> This is so I think sad. Like, the first time I played, I think she just died because I forgot to go get her. <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I have that all Whoops. the time too. I, I think you have like you have like one turn where you can where it's okay to forget to move her, but if you don't move her again after that, then yeah, she just can get melted. She dies. I like how like the first enemy phase that she joins, um, she has like a free kill against the guy with a hand axe or something. The game is like, let me show you how awesome Bridget is before the the bow even comes into play. Like, she just wrecks a guy on enemy phase. Because they hand axe her. Mm -hmm. Alright. One day, I think we'll be able to heal someone and it's going to be glorious. Or not, I think, um, Ethelin. The less, healer, the less mobile healer, of course. Okay, I really need to load this gold up to someone. Should I just give it to. I'll just give it to Ethelin. Oh, she's rich from. Like, why does she have so much money? Does Quan make her donation? No, she's a rich. What the heck? I, I think we should keep the gold until at least we figure out what we want to buy and stuff from everybody. I mean, he can transfer it to anybody at any yeah. time. I was just thinking of like sending him down here to get this gold over here. This 5k village is luring me, but I kind of want to spread his gold around a little bit, but whatever, it's fine. I'll just go over here and do that. It's probably the smarter thing to do. Okay, so Ideen's probably going to get attacked once. Once, right? And then the rest is going to go for like Azel or Arden or some other person that will be just fine. 
Uh, where are you going? There's there's still more XP to be gained. <laughs> he said, I'm out. <laughs> but, uh, RNG not on our side today. That's fine. You don't need it to be. I guess a little hat. <laughs> I've always loved the sprites in this game. They're so cute. Yeah. They, you know what, they kind of, this is going to sound bad because the sprites in this game are awful. They kind of remind me of the way the sprites look in uh, Shadow Dragon, just a lot better. Yeah, it's the same concept almost, kind of? I see what you're saying, mm -hmm. yeah. I like with what... the, like, I don't know, with the tiny feet and the tiny hands, and they mm -hmm. kind of just have, like, little nubs at the end of everything. Yeah. I enjoy Except for in Shadow Dragon, they're awful. They're mm -hmm. ugly. I don't think Shadow Dragon looks awful, but it's an acquired taste for sure. I just, I think I just like all Fire Emblem things. The like animation it. in Shadow Dragon is awful. Everything else, oh, like, no. just the base game is fine. No, but... I love people running around with, like, rubber axes. It's great. I, I'm like, I, I look at him and I'm like, I, I guess if you wanted to make him look like a toy? If you, it, although, if you're gonna make Marth look like a toy, at least release an action figure of him. <laughs> like, an actual toy of him. What, amiibos and, like, Figma figures aren't good enough for you? No, I don't. I, no, because then I'm. I'm oh, come on, it's that's, that's a crazy going. level up. Seventeen, seventeen. I'm tired of having to spend like eighty bucks for Fire Emblem figures, please. Never. Can I heal both of them this turn? I, think I can. Yeah. Okay. Go here. Heal. I'm gonna have Jamka like wreck that whole part up there. The whole part. He's gonna be able to do it. I'm proud of him. You're already proud of him. He hasn't even done anything yet, and you're already proud of him. That's so nice. I get... I'm so proud nice. of him base game when he, like, when I can actually get him places. Based. Oh, whoops. I meant to heal her. That's right. Whatever. There's just going to be more turns after this. It's fine. Uh, go here. So, while we're trudging through the spirit forest in this last bring and suicides on Azel, um, I think we could talk a little bit about pairings, because we've recruited mm, two. Yeah. Marryable women, Tina <laughs> and Ira. Okay. I wish I could phrase it in a less gross way, but that's that's the way it is. Sorry. Um, well, who do we pair them with? Because the kids are a little bit different too. Obviously, like for example, Idine gets Lester, a Bow Knight, and Lana, the I guess they're the class called Priest. I think, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I guess the healer is gonna be the healer always. I guess we can pair her with Claude and just have like a really good healer with A staffs or like S rank staffs, basically. That could be fun. And Lester's trash, but he's gonna be trash anyway, right? Because <laughs> like he's gonna be six move Medir, right? So... Yeah, he's gonna be really annoying to use. So you're right. There might not even be a point. I normally pair her with like. Who do I normally pair Aideen with? I don't know. She's so easy to pair with just anybody. <laughs> She's... Everybody falls in love with her as soon as they yeah. see her. <laughs> For sure. I did do the convo with Azel, thinking I might do that pairing, but the only benefit would be to get the rescue staff, which, I mean, it's good, but I think it'd be more fun to have, like, a pairing based around Gen 2 rather than just getting the rescue staff. Oh, good level up, Idine. Very good. Mm -hmm. Normally, with Azel, I normally almost always pair him with Tail 2, because I just like that pairing a lot. I think they're cute. Mm -hmm. um, that, that would be really good, I don't good know, because I, I don't... Yeah, there's um, no point in pairing ID with Jamka, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there wouldn't be, unfortunately, because, uh, yeah, there's like no benefit to it anymore. It's not like you can inherit his move. <laughs> um, Azel with Tilty was interesting because both of the kids are, you know, unmounted units. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on, let me, let me pair one other character real quick. Got him. I got him. Got him. What turn is it? And that's so, that's the perfect pairing. Yes, the perfect pairing right here. We got it. Ooh, let's talk about Deirdre while she's here. Gosh, she has so much movements. That's so nice. Not <laughs> she, Jamka. That's going to make her... Deirdre, in my opinion, I love her. I really do. But I, she sucks. For me, at least. <laughs> I'm never able to use her because she's so slow. And she's so squishy, too. Yeah. Oh, I, I think it's worth mentioning that Deirdre is the only person, I think, in all of Fire Emblem, or the first person in all of Fire Emblem to play on casual mode, where if she dies, she does come back afterwards. Like, she just gets mm -hmm. kidnapped, and then she can re kind of re-recruit her afterwards. Um, she just kind of comes back. But I think it still goes against your ranking, so I guess it doesn't really count as survival. But the point is, she can play in casual mode, and that's funny. But, yeah, no, she's 
absolutely horrendously awful at doing anything, especially because the like you said, she's super slow. She has ten percent speed growth. Uh, Aura weighs her down to minus eight at base, so she's never getting faster. Um, mm -mm. And her movement normally is five, but with her movement of eight, I think she can definitely be viable at like a chip bot. She's never gonna one on anything because she doesn't have pursuit and doesn't have the speed, but. We have an 8-move silence bot now. We can, like, run up to a magic, an army with a mage in it and just silence that guy. <laughs> and he'll just, like, <laughs> he'll be done. <laughs> He's just done. And we can maybe abuse the circlet to get uh, Miracle sometimes, and that will let her just survive enemies. She's not as good at using Miracle mm -hmm. as, like, Finn is, because her speed is so bad that even at a low Miracle, there's still a chance she dies. But she does come back if she dies, so maybe we can even take some risks there. And if she does end up surviving, then great, we get like 34 magical damage on anything that attacks her. That's pretty good. So, I think I can utilize her to some extent. It's just going to be a lot of math to try and figure out what Miracle needs from us to do. Because if we don't figure out Miracle, then she's going to get melted really fast with like 26 mm -hmm. HP and 3 defense. But I think we have a shot at using Deirdre. And if not, well, there's always your cat. You know, we can use that. Yeah. It's always that instead. Okay, so, I mean, uh, also fun fact, um, I think Deirdre and Secret, they don't start out paired, but they have like a base plus growth that just ends up over 500 after they've been around for one turn. So if you yeah. finish the map, theoretically, the turn that Deirdre joins, they don't pair immediately. <laughs> or if you're past turn 50, <laughs> they don't gain love growth. So they also pair next chapter instead, which I think makes more sense because there's like a, some time between chapter 1 and 2. So that way they actually mm -hmm. think it over instead of, you know, hey, I just met you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, in other news, usually this army overlaps like perfectly with the sleep range. Is that still the case here? No, right? Bottom forest. Oh, oh it kind of huh. does. It still does. What the heck? I guess just because... Huh. I could swear that... No, actually... They no, should... I feel like... No, this is... Actually, I was wrong. This is the problem. Normally in vanilla, what happens is these guys have less range. So mm -hmm. you can put Deirdre outside of their range, but in range to silence this, the boss with her silence staff of team 10 range. But now that these guys have more move, I don't think there's a square I can put Deirdre where she's safe from the enemies while still silencing the guy. So what? someone's going to have to take a Fenrir from this boss <laughs> with uh, 32 <laughs> attack. Awful. Or we bait the enemies away first in a square where they can go like on the side. Yeah, that's going to be your best bet. You can put Jamka on the side maybe. Hopefully still a square where the forest is. Like, oh, I think um, like one of these three forests that, over here. Yeah. yeah, one of those will work. One of those. Even one of those. All right, so I don't know how relevant you all will be, but we'll sure need healing after this. Arnie can finish someone off. Ira can definitely finish someone off. Ira can only face like three more enemies before sword break, so be careful there. <laughs> uh, this is still out of range. Go here. Don't return anyone. No. I think at this point, if there's like enemy, like my people still in that little area, I just abandon them. Yeah, for sure. Well, speaking of abandon, I need to have do move for the village before I forget. Uh, yeah, that's true. I'll go here. It's true that do has to get it. Ah, okay. Thanks. I didn't know there was a forest here. I learned something new. Every I, day. I couldn't see it. <laughs> I couldn't see it. You missed the forest for the trees. It's deforestation, man. It's a real problem nowadays. It actually is a real problem. Don't even joke about that. My, my uncle went to a forest once. No, it's <laughs> my uncle went to a forest. He saw someone cut down a tree. <laughs> okay, so Jamka baits them in, and then when they're all baited in, Deirdre's like, haha, joke's on you. Silence Goodbye. your boss, and I can no longer shout orders at you, and then you're screwed. Okay, go here. Ethlyn, I honestly doubt Ethlyn is going to do anything, but. We'll see. Come on, Secret. You can make it out of this forest. I swear. <laughs> He's like, Dude is like way ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm not see. used to this. I'll protect you today. Yeah, it's uh. Feminism. And you're like, you're real good at that, Deirdre. Feminism emblem. All right, Lex. I swear, when you're out of this forest, it's going to be slightly less painful. I think I'm going to need uh, Jamka to get some leadership bonuses because he's going to face a ton of enemies here. Yeah, I agree. So I'm going to wait for it, Secret. It, Look, they married. <laughs> they married without wow. even seeing each other once. They never saw each other. Did you ever pair uh, Bridget with like Finn without them ever seeing each other? It's so funny. 
Mm -mm. No, on a, in my most recent playthrough, I got to chapter 5, and I was like, hmm, I haven't paired Bridget with anybody. And I was like, that's a problem. So I spent, like, a kajillion hours trying to figure out a way to pair her with somebody by the end of chapter 5, but I, I, I couldn't. And I, didn't I couldn't figure out why, because I, when I was reading about it, I was like, okay, love growths stop growing on, like, turn 50, if you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, once you reach turn 50, they will not like love each other anymore I, I guess they get sick and tired of seeing each yes. other <laughs> they fall for um, the force <laughs> or something i don't know so i was like i could not get her to marry anybody because i don't I, like and i couldn't figure out why i was like pairing them with the jealousy system and ev the, like the jealousy system and everything mm -hmm. the jealousy is weird get... right because it like it changes whether you reset or not and which patch you're using so did you factor that in i think i did but i mean at the very end of the day she just didn't marry anybody oh sad and Died i was like single. oh well Sad. Oh well. All right. Let's see. Jamka kick some butt. Animations on. Leadership in range. Force in range. How much hit are these hunters gonna have? Like twenty. Get out of here. This guy will never hit him. Twenty six. What? What? Get out of here. I don't know. I wouldn't say that. We've been getting pretty unlucky about that. Yeah, we used up all the battle ends. Wait, that's a bad spot for you to occupy. No. Okay. I think if that guy hadn't stood there. I think it would have faced way more archers. All right. Get him, Jamka. One strength spark is all it takes for him to one round cleanly here. Adept, please. Adept. Mm -hmm. Adept anything. Yes! Do it! Get him. He can proc Adept. He can proc a cost. He can proc anything. Anything. He can get crit. Oh, yeah, that's true as well. Yeah. Crit is the rarest one. Oh. Crit's nice. very... I always liked how crit worked in genealogy. Like oh, having to kill a certain... Me. Whoa! <laughs> having to kill a certain amount of enemies before your weapon even gets a chance yeah. of critting. Like, it's not like a base thing. It's cute, especially because crits are so good in this game. Like, they just double your attacks. Mm -hmm. They just melt through defensive enemies. That's why, like, the Silver Sword is always great on Selif if you use it on Sigurd consistently. Yeah. I like the Hero Sword more personally, but I feel like this, the Silver Sword just kind of falls into your lap, so it's very natural for it to get a bunch of kills. That's cringe. Strength. All right. That was a very cringe level. <laughs> All right, Jamka. What is that? You've at least got strength. Come on. His growth is what? 40%, 50%? Come on, dude. I have to hope for more RNG. Well, I guess there's less fun things and hoping that Jamka gets lucky. No! Oh, well. Azel! Yeah, Azel won. Sigurd won. Uh, oh, there's another one here. All right. Redemption. Whoop. I look at their I their outfits are so interesting right now. What the I, like Yeah, because they have like armor on their shoulder and then on their like on their legs, but <laughs> not on their major internal organs, which is almost I don't like you've seen a lot of like jokes about um uh, uh people criticizing other people because their designs of women in games similar to this can be interesting mm -hmm. um but I, I love it especially if the men are treated the same way it's even <laughs> better honestly that way it's great if you say so like if you're gonna do it with the woman you have to do it with this <laughs> for poor Lex. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's yeah. gonna get his axe <laughs> eventually okay one second for boring off topic talk uh so these guys are unharmed so i kind of need a zell to get one of them it's fine uh, there is a funny way we can actually get Sandima with Jamka this turn. If he gets healed, he survives the counterattack and he has like a chance to one round him. The problem is I have to like clear everything in his way there, which I don't know if it's possible. I don't think you're going to be able to do that, no. Yeah, because like this guy... You can get... There's only two weakened enemies here that we can get with like, I don't know, Ethlin Arden or something. And then Ira can proc Astra on one and then Secret can one round one of them maybe. And then Azel can one round one of them maybe. He could probably make it, but we'd have to leave some hunters alive probably. But we can we can have a go at it at least. Um, let's see. So probably uh, Sigurd can't reach one right now, so we'll try with Azel. He won rounds, so that's good. And I guess Idine is gonna have to be the one healing Jamka because there's no way Ethan can reach him anymore now. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have done Ethan first actually. Yeah, there's nothing else you could have done anyway, so that's the way to fix this if this goes haywire. So ID was gonna heal Jamka. We're gonna go here. You can go in the forest, right? Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Okay, so go here. Let me get rid of that last archer then. What was my idea for this first one? Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not gonna be able to do it actually. I'm just Wait, not. what about Ira? 
Oh yeah, I reckon Oxstrad with that one, but then can... I mean, she might be able to reach that last archer with a. I think you're if right. If you get, if you get the other guy out of the yeah, way okay. with Seeger. We'll, see, we'll see if she gets Astra. Uh, Seeger, I don't think you want to this guy either. Shit. Yeah, it's... Seeger not strong enough apparently. Okay, we'll just have to uh, wipe out everyone else first. That's fine. I guess uh, in that case, Jamka can do this one because everything else is like countering him. Mm -hmm. mm, is this the best spot for him to do this? Let me work on the other archers first. So, Quan can only javelin like this guy, so we'll have him do that. 92 hit. Thanks, Sigurd. Wow. How do Mighty have Qualen? Uh, Arden can finish a dude with this. I don't think any of these are going to reach like skill counts, but whatever. Steel sword. <gasps> so close. What? So close to level eleven. <laughs> Very careful. Don't bait Sanima yet. That means Ira is like out of work. Uh, Deirdre moments. Deirdre can probably you check, survive. Um... Yeah. Check. What's his? Uh. Yeah. Oh no. You don't think she can reach in that forest tile down there, do you? Deirdre? Oh, Deirdre. Like here. Yeah, she can reach down there. Oh, like, well, like what's the guy, you mean? Yeah. Oh, hmm. Because you might as well do that now if we're gonna just try to kill him. Yeah, let me see if she can, like... If I have to kill something for her to be safe, because... I remember this part is, like, not super friendly for her to set up a miracle. But I guess I could just kill a left to where it doesn't matter. Uh, but theoretically, let's say it happens. 18 attack on her is doing 15. She goes down to 11, which is an awkward number. That's like right above what Miracle needs to be. So I guess I just have to kill enough for it not to matter. Let's say we went here with Sigurd. Get this guy. Then we can also block Deirdre from the fighter if he... Are you serious right <gasps> now? What? What Are was his hit? Cereal what was his hit? All right, whatever. We're just going to try it anyway. Silence. What silence is range? 10. Always 10. And then he just always hit. What's Fenrir's range? 10. So why why couldn't you have put her... Hold on. The problem was the enemy's range. The, the generic guys, not Sanima himself, remember? No, I get that, but I don't, like... Yeah, why couldn't you put her... You see that forest tile? Okay, go to Ira. Ira? Yeah, and that forest tile all the way to the right. Mm -hmm. No, 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 like, if you're selecting on her... Down. Oh, like here. I, I think if you put her in that forest tile right next to the plane, she would have been able to silence him. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, And I think that would have been safer. Oh, <laughs> well, She just wouldn't have been able to get attacked there. Yeah, no, that's absolutely safer. You're right. You're right. Well, I, I thought that's what you were doing, and then you moved her where you did, and I was like, huh. <laughs> I was like, you're okay. going to be close to Sigurd, right? That's how it works, right? <laughs> it's okay. She'll get 10 extra avoid from him, I think. It'll be fine. I... Every time I check someone's movement, they're short of what I wanted them to do. It just keeps repeating itself. It's a scuff turn. It's a, it's a sketch. Like, this is roughly what it should look like. Yeah, that uh, is very true. Got him. Whoa! Boom. Killed the one enemy that couldn't reach Deirdre. Okay, <laughs> okay but here's the plan, right? Um, so they might I... go for Ideen. Yeah, so if you put Ideen like a range of 100, then they'll go for her. So that'd be like around here somewhere. Like you put her in the one. forest. She'll still be in the, um, yeah, Billy Kwan. Yeah, but it's like a range of all of them. That's kind of bad. Although, That's I, true, yeah. Although there's only two I just don't squares. think they'll all attack her. Probably not. I'll give it a go. Let's go here. I have Ethlyn like around here somewhere too. Ethlyn survived. I think she survives two hunters now. 18. Yeah, she does. Okay, so if they attack her, that's totally fine. Heal Ideen. Fast healing animation. Oh, this game has very fast healing animations. It's very convenient. You don't have to wait long at all. Okay, Lex is ready to go. Do got his village. Okay. They took the bait. Yes, 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 yes. They attacked the healer, like you said. Just as we, <laughs> just as we had predicted. Yes. And it uh, looks like they're all going for her. That's okay, because she dodged one. Got fools him. they are. Fools. Absolute buffoons. I, it is interesting that they all just went for Ethelin. Huh, mm -hmm. okay. 
Mm. Thanks. Nice. Very cool. All right, Jamka, let's see what you can do. Yeah, I think if we're having Ira kill Gandalf for this reason that we have to have Jamka kill this guy as well. Especially now that he's silenced. 90 hit. I can move in secret to make it 100 too. That's going to be so nice. All right, before we move out here, I think it would be cool to at least show off Aura's animation. Oh, that. yeah, definitely. Get this weekend one. As we all know, it's very important to train Deirdre. <laughs> yep, it doesn't look like slime, I promise. <laughs> the best part is when it misses, <laughs> because the enemy like sidesteps a little bit. Alright, of course, one of them will go for uh, Magic Ring, though. Ooh, Magic Ring. Oh, I kind of want that on Azel. But there's no guarantee that. I mean, Azel has a million money. He'll be able to buy it if you need to. It's fine. Okay, Azel, you can you can go for that. If if Jamka doesn't kill, then we can go for that. Let's try kill with Jamka. Let's move out secret first so he gets to be hit boost. So we go here. Jamka time. One hundred hit. Yeah, boom. You're too late. Your father is dead. You're in fire emblem. <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> it just happened. Two. Yes. Guaranteed. Boom. Beautiful. Bye, Bye, loser. Goodbye. How very nice. Dude, we need some strength right. in here. <laughs> yes, Jamka, please. <laughs> I don't even have magical weapons for this guy. Alright. Azel, get his customary kill. The obligatory one. Goodbye. <gasps> so close. Oh, Arden has is about to level up. Let's do that. That seems like a good way to close it out. Oh yeah, he's at level ninety nine or uh, experience ninety nine. Let's go. I'm Boom. not risking another ninety. <laughs> I'm done with this one RM BS. Get him. Mm. The dink little sword in his head. <laughs> the slim sword is so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> He's just so good yes, looking. Yes, Whoa, yes. Whoa, what are you kidding? I mean, like, see, Fuck, this is yeah. the reason why Jamka is not getting speed or strength. He, he's just ate all the good level ups. He is. He's so good. Oh my goodness. But, but give him the magic ring. Just give it to him. He, like, d he doesn't need it, but just give it to him. He deserves it. Light brand Arden next chapter. Get all the armor knights. Hit him twice with that 14 might attack. Probably not boosted by any magic. Oh, we need to move Lex. Did you do that already? Yeah, good call. Good call. Let's get that hero axe that he will definitely use a lot. Bloop. Oh no, I dropped my hero Thank axe. you. The brave axe. I don't know why they made this thing like infinitely better than like everything else you possibly have, but uh, I'm not going <laughs> to question it. Now I, I feel like it like... does kind of balance Lex out a little bit though. It don't, like You Absolutely. don't need it to make Lex good, but... It's so nice to attack twice. It is really helpful, yeah. Attacking is so nice when you do it twice. All right. That uh, wraps up the chapter. I'm not going to seize on screen here because I want to do a renang with a couple guys. And maybe uh, That's basically about it. I just want to finish a renang with people. some people who haven't finished it yet. Do that off screen where it's not super tedious to watch me go back and forth between units. So next time we'll see you. We'll be in chapter two, all arena and ready to go. Um, probably with a new character recruited as well to talk about. Another really good character that I'm looking forward to using. But uh, yeah, Ooh. probably the most fun spirit force that I've ever played, despite all the setbacks. So... <laughs> Thanks, game, for being fun, and uh, thanks, Rin, for making it more fun. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.